New at six tonight, West Point is under fire for a plaque honoring the Ku Klux Klan. As CBS 2's Jessica Moore shows us, this discovery was made during an investigation into U.S. military bases which commemorate the Confederacy. The faces of military bases around the country are changing. What message does it send when you hear that these names are being changed? It sends a message that, that over time, uh, things that were wrong will be determined as wrong. The commission is recommending the Department of Defense rename nine military bases that honor Confederate generals. Notably, it recommends Fort Bragg in North Carolina be renamed Fort Liberty, Fort Hood in Texas be renamed Fort Cavazos, and Fort Lee in Virginia now be called Fort Greg Adams. But it's very difficult because, as I said, uh, the generals and admirals who won World War II were raised on the notion that these were heroes and they had fought in the Confederacy. And so you've got to change thinking in a big way, and I think it shows how much society has changed. Historian and West Point graduate Dr. Harlan Ullman thinks removing one monument is non-negotiable. The one monument that must be removed must be the KKK a monument at West Point. For years, students at West Point have walked into Bartlett Hall Science Center, passing by an image of a hooded figure with the words Ku Klux Klan written below it. The panel flagged the plaque in its report, urging review, but said recommending the removal of the plaque fell outside its scope because the KKK, founded by Confederate soldiers, emerged after the Civil War, and the panel's purview stops at the Confederacy. That is intolerable to keep it there, no matter what the law says. And I hope that will be done. West Point sent CBS a statement noting it had seen the panel's remarks on the plaque, saying, quote, We are reviewing the recommendations and will collaborate with the Department of the Army to implement changes once approved. As a values based institution, we are fully committed to creating a climate where everyone is treated with dignity and respect. Ultimately, West Point must decide whether or not to remove the KKK plaque. But that is certainly the one monument that should be. Uh, certainly removed. The Secretary of Defense holds the authority to direct specific bases to be renamed. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News.